Shalom to you all. I want to share a little bit about humility. I'll not share my humility because I don't know whether I have. I'll share according to the Bible. And a few things that I was taught by my teacher. You know, Humility, you know, sometimes we, we can gauge ourselves, but you know, we are going to talk about humility anyway. Praise the name of the Lord. I just pray that the Holy Spirit be with us. Let us go to the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5. We are going to read two chapters. Yes, we, we are going to read this passage and we are also going to read another chapter. Philippians 2.5 Philippians 2.5 Let me begin with three. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lawlessness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, of those who are in heaven and those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of, the fa of, the, of God the Father. Amen. Olinyo roku sato. Temuko langa chintu chona uloku yomba. Ni wangu wa dore chiti wa chitalimu. Wabula mwabuwembefu. Buli mtu wa gulumi zenga mune. Okusinga wa ye gulumi za yeka. Temutu nuli langa buli mtu. Ebi bie yeka. Ilana ye buli mtu. Nebi abalala. Mwe. Mwerenga mwa kuloza kuli. Ero kwa li mkristo yesu. Wewe ya soko kubela mchifana nchaka katonda. Te aloza chintu. Eche gombe wa okwenka na nkana ne katonda Na ye jake chitiwa Boya tuwale ngeri yomudu Na avela mchifana nchaba antu Ela boya labi kila mumutindo gobu antu Na ye oto waza Nga muulizo kutuso kufa Ero kufo kwa kumusalaba Ela katonda chiava mugulumiza enyo Na muweli nyaliri Eli singa manyagona Buli vivi ilifukamili renge Eli nyali ya yesu Eli yobo mugulu Nebi okunsi Nebi awansi wansi Ela bulirulimi lwa tulenga Yesu Kristo ye mukama wafe katonda chitafe awebwe chitiwa. Amen. Let us go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Katugene mchitabo echaba kulinsa echisoka isula ya muenda. And we are going to read the whole chapter. Ela tugenda kusome sula yona. At least this morning we shall count that today we have read a chapter in the Bible. Ela tunabalanti ya machagala ero tusome Yesu la mubaibuli. Praise the Lord. Amen. I will read and finish, and also Luganda will read. Amen. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? If I'm not an apostle to others, yet doubtlessly I am to you. For you are the seal of my apostleship, in the Lord. 
My defense to those who examine me is this. Do we have no right to drink or eat? Do we have no right to take along believing wives as do others, the other apostles, the, brother, the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? All, is it only Barnabas and I who have no right to refrain from work? However, who, whoever goes to war at, this, at his own expense, who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its fruit, or who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk of the flock, do I say these things as a mere man, or not the law say the same also? It is written in the law of Moses, you shall not muzzle an ox oxen while it treads out the grain. It is, is, it, is it oxen God is concerned about, or does he say it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he who plows should plow in hope. And he who thrives in hope should be partaker of his hope. If we have sown spiritual things in you, is it a great thing if we reap from your material things? If others are partakers of this right over you, are we not even more? Nevertheless, we have not used this right, but endure all things, lest we hinder the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who minister and those who serve at the altar partake of the offerings of the altar? Even so, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should live from the gospel. Verses 15. But I, I have used none of these things, nor have I written these things that they should be done so to me. For it would be better for me to die than any man should make my boasting void. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, what to me if I do not preach the gospel? For if I do this willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, I have, I have been entrusted with, with a stewardship. What is my reward then? That when I preach the gospel, I may present the gospel of Christ without charge. That I may not abuse my authority in the gospel. Verses 19. For though I am a free, I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win the more. And to the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might win Jews, to those who are under the law, as under the law, that I may I might win those who are under the law. To those who are without law. As without law, not being without law towards God, but under law towards Christ, that I might win those who are without law. So to the weak, I became as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might be by all means save more. Now this I do for the gospel's sake, that I may be partaker of it with you. Verses 24. Do you not know that those who run in the race in all in, in, the, in a race in run, but one receives all or run, but one receives the price? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for a prize is temperate in all things. Now they, are, now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but for, 
that we for an imperishable crown. Therefore, I run thus, not with certainty, but I dis uh, not with certainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and brings it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Amen. Onyol soka. Siri wa dembe. Siri mutume. Sala ba yesu mukama wa fe. Mwete muli muli mugwangi. Mumukama wa fe. Obanga siri mutume liya balala. Na endi mutume li mwe. Kubanga mwe kabone loko mutume wange. Mumukama wa fe. Bwempoza bwenti eliyabo abanke mekeleza. Tetulina buyinza okulyanga no kunywanga. Tetulina buyinza okutwala ngo mukazi wa Uganda awamu nafe eranga abatuma balala ne baganda ba mukama wafe neke nekefa obanze nze ka ne baluna bate tulina buyinza obutakolanga milimu ani agenda okutabala yonna yonna natabaze ebintu byeye ani asimbo lusuku natalya ku mmere yamu obani alunde kisibo natanywa ku matage kisibecho ebyo njogera bya buntu obera na mateka tegogera bwegacho kubanga chawa ndikiba mumateka gamu santi tojisibanga kamwa ente ngeula katonda looza byante oba yogera ku lwafe feka kubanga chawa ndikiba ku lwafe kubanga alima chimugwanira okulimanga asubira era na awula chimugwanira okula nga asubira okuwebwako obanga fe twabasigamu ebyomoyo kya kitalo fe bwe tuli kungula ebyamwe ebyomubiri Obanga abalala bali no buyinzo obo kumwe fete tusinga bo ne na ye tetwakoza buyinza obo na yetu gumikiriza byonna tulemengo okuleta ekizize njiri ya Kristo temumanyinga abo abaweleza ebituku bali akubyo muyekalu nabo abaweleza ku kyoto bagabana ne kyoto era ne mukama wa febwacho yalagira ababulire njiri bali sibwenga olwenjiri Unyule kuminetano. Na yenze, sibiko zangebio, nechimu. So siwandi sebio, chilioke chikole, chikole luenga, inzebwe chitio, kubanga wachiri nzo kufa, okusingo mtu yena, okufulo kwenye miliza kwange, okobwe lele. Kubanga, wembuli renjiri, siba na cha kwenye miliza, kubanga nino kuwalirizibwa, kubanga zinsanze, we sibu uliranjiri. Kubanga, kuba, obanga nkola wentio, no kuagala, Mbera ne mpera na yo banga sikola na kuagala na teresewa na teresewa obuwanika kale mpera achi jenina mbuli renjiri okujifule yo bwerere ne mo kukoleza okukoleza dalo buyinza bwange mu njiri kubanga ne wanku badenga ndi wadembe libonna ne fula muddu elibonna ndiyo kemfunenga abanji olwabiri neri aba yudaya nafuka ngo mu yudaya Mfunenga aba yudaya eri aba bafugibwa amateka nafuka anga afugibwa amateka nze kenyini ngasifugibwa amateka mfunenga aba fugibwa amateka eri aba talina amateka nafuka anga atalina amateka sibutaba na amateka eri katonda nenga mpulira amateka eri kristo mfunenga aba talina amateka eri aba nafu nafuka munafu mfunenga aba nafu eri bonna mfuse bonna mu byonna Mubyo na byo na ndiyo kendo kolenga abamu. Era nkola byo na orenjiri. Ndiyo kenzi senga chimu muiyo. Temuma nyinga baduka. Mua kana. Baduki la dalabo na. Na ya wewe mpela omu. Mudukenga we mutyo. Mulio ke muwewe. Abili mutano. Era bulimuntu. Awaka, bulimuntu awakana. Yegende leze mubyo na. Kale bo bako la we batyo. Balio keba wewe ngule. Eri ononeka na efe etayo ononeka nze chenvanzi ruka bwenti singa tamanyi nwana bwenti singa kube banga na ene na ye nebonerezo mubiri gwange era ngufuga mpozi nga mazo kubulira abalala nze nze ka ne mokubera tasimibwa father bless your word Tata wao mkisee chigambo cho. Cause our souls to understand. Let the memes of Open our understanding that we may know the word. 
Let your Holy Spirit expound more in our hearts. And as I speak, Lord, may you come and speak to our hearts with your own voice. That today we may move out with your word being edified and corrected and blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have two examples in the in the texts that we have read. We have our Lord Jesus Christ. As Paul was talking about his humility when he was on planet Earth. The way he humbled himself. This is how I understand humility. It's my understanding everyone can have their own understanding. Humility is letting go of your own level. Letting go of your own worth. Letting go of what the world perceives you are. And coming low. Not for your only your own benefit, but for the benefit of those whom you find at a lower level. As we try to do that, moving in humility, the Lord who sees in secret rewards our humility. That is why he says in Proverbs 22 4 that honor life and and what? And life, honor, glory, and life. Life, honor, riches. Honor, life, and riches is the reward of those who are humble. As someone leaves their levels and come down to do what they are supposed to do. Humbling the, themselves. Thinking less of themselves but thinking more of others that are below. The Lord looks at those acts and rewards them. Rewards honor, rewards life, rewards riches. Praise the Lord. In Philippians 2, 5 to 11 where we have read. Paul explains to us who Christ was. That Christ was in a form of God. He was God. But in his humble heart, he did not consider himself to be equal to God. Being a very honorable prince in the heavenly palace, he considered himself of no reputation at all. But he came down on earth. Even here on earth, he did not come as his majesty. He came as a servant. Not like any other servant. But a bond servant. One who is who is a bond servant, someone who is bought and they are a property of someone. Who is not free at all. These writings are written about the son, the princess in the palace, the prince in the palace of heaven. When he was coming, he humbled himself and came in the likeness of man. Like you, like me. He had eyes, he had arms, he was like you. 
As corrupt as we are, as corrupt as we are, as corrupt as we are, he, he, he took himself in that image. Praise the name of the Lord. He, he was found in the appearance of a man. Isaiah talks about Christ. And he says that even when you looked at him, he was not handsome. He was not like these, these men who, who have, they call them Ubunyama. Those women you can say they are, they are attractive when you are looking at them. This Christ that we see, that we were told that is Christ who has long hair, beautiful nose, good eyes. You know when he's all handsome, Christ was not like that. Those are images that we were made to, to believe. Isaiah testifies and says he was a creature that was not admirable to look at. He obeyed, he took all our sins, all our corruption, and obeyed up to death. You know, there is pain, there is shame, there is uh, being deserted at the point of death, during death. There is being undressed. There is shame in death. Yet Jesus, in his humble humility, did humble heart, he did not care even going to the level of death. As if death was not enough. But he chose the worst death. In the Old Testament, a person who would be crucified on a tree, the Bible says that cast is the one who is hanged on the tree. He died a cast death. In all exemplifying humility, showing us how low we can go. Much as we are, we are, we are fetching on someone who is as low as we can. Praise the name of the Lord. The humility of Christ is the one we ought to partake. To learn humility from Christ. Undressing himself from all the glories. The Bible says the angels who worship in heaven and never ceases. They worship and worship and worship. He left all those glories. Humbled himself to our level. Below our level. Died a shameful death. Not for his own sake. But to fetch on you and me so that we may not die in hellfire. Praise the name of the Lord. We see the same thing to Paul. In the chapter where we have read. I was reading this chapter. And I saw the humility of, of Paul. I even understood that Paul also wanted, wanted to have a wife with him. He wanted. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, he begins, I, 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 I separated this chapter in three parts. Part number one, he shows us what he is. Paul explains to us what he is so that we do not downlook on him. 
When we consider what he does for the body of Christ to save souls, then we know that he humbled himself. You know, when someone, when you don't know the, the value, the level, the worth of a person, you may even bypass them without waving at them. Because you know who they are. So Paul tells us who he was. He tells us he's an apostle. He asks, Am I not an apostle? Am I not a free man? Who of you have seen Christ? I have seen the Lord myself with my eyes. You know, a person who has ever seen Christ, you take aside us who talk about him. Leave us who, who just talk about him. Leave us who meditate in our mind and we see, we say, Zibiriza Masogo. Labango, laba Christ, and then in your heart you perceive that you see Christ. In, in your heart, he saw him. Broad daylight. The Bible says it was noon. Bible At noon. The sun is shining at its highest. Yet Christ shone his, his light beyond the strength of the sun. And Paul would say that amidst this noon there is another light. You cannot see Christ and you don't share of his glory. So he reminds us, I have seen the Lord. And he says, I am an apostle. If anyone is doubting, at least they are products of my work, I have done something. I am an apostle. Even the churches he had begun were confirming he was an apostle. Praise the Lord. He tells us all that. And then he asks, Who uh, doesn't... Don't I have any authority to eat and drink? Don't I have any authority to marry? Don't I have any authority to let go of work? Paul, Paulo, after establishing all those churches, and you know he explains and tells us, I know if you tend uh, cows, you have to drink of the milk. I know that. I know being one okunywa kumataga mwenze nabasimba. Being I'm worthy to take of your milk. Yet he was working with his own hands. To sustain himself. He says, All the things I've done for you spiritually. All the things that I've my sacrifice to do the spiritual things. Am I not worthy to partake of your physical things? Am I not worthy? According to the gospel that I preach to you. Even the season that I take without sleeping. When I'm seeking for your church, 
Is it too bad for you to bring a 10,000 note and give it to you me? You know, there are Christians who have a mentality that giving to church is a charitable donation. Charity. Let me put this right. You are not helping anyone. Okay. We are not Bakateyamba. <laughs> that for you to decide and be faithful to give your tithe, you, you, are, you are helping us. You are giving us a donation. I see sometimes when pastors are panicking concerning things of giving you know, we, we can panic sometimes eh? and we, see, we, we begin to say you know that we can panic sometimes Okay, it is not bad to give thanks, but you are not making a charitable donation. I'm speaking this knowing that I even don't have a man. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So Paul is, is, is talking, is saying all this to these people. That I know all this, I know I have all these, these rights, I, I know I'm entitled to all this. I know my worth. Yet the humility that was in him was telling him, do not use your authority. He says in verses 15, I did not use my authority. Knowing all that that I am, I'm humbling myself, I'm working, I'm doing ABCD, I'm letting go marrying, I'm letting go anything that other apostles are actually practicing. I'm humbling myself because I don't want to lose anyone in the gospel. He says, I don't want to lose anyone. Praise the name of the Lord. Verses 19. He says, that okay, verses 20. 19. For though I'm free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all. That I might win more. And he says to the Jew, I became like a Jew because I don't want to leave the Jews outside the gospel. In fact, in the book of Acts chapter 15, verses 1 to 5, when he was still on his journey preaching the gospel, and he came up across Timothy, and he wanted to take to take him, chapter 16. You know, and Timothy was a son of a, 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 a son to a, a, a lady who is a, 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 a Jew, but the father was, was a Greek, and everyone knew that he was not a Jew. So he causes him to get circumcised. 
Can you imagine getting circumcised because you want to fit in those who are circumcised? Letting go, denying yourself of what you are identifying with those you want to to give a hand praise the Lord then he says that to those that are under the law as under the law that I might win those who are under the law. But you know these days there 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 is a teaching that says we are not under the law, there are no laws, blah blah. I don't know. One thing I used to tell my my pastor, I my my glorified pastor, I used to tell him those things of law, Sabbath, just in no, I'll never teach about them. Those things. First of all, they are for the educated. According to me. Please don't blame anyone. According to me, they are for the educated. Those who will scratch and scratch deep, 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 deep in the scriptures. But anyway, Paul knowing all truth. He saw that these ones who are claiming to, be, to still be under the law. There is a certain truth they, they are not revealed unto. He did not just abuse them and tell them you don't understand you are what, but he masqueraded to be as though under the law, humbled himself so that he may reach them and win them to Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he says to those who are without the law, as without law my bible has a bracket and, and that bracket says not being without law towards God but under law towards Christ without the law awatali mateka he says, not being without the law towards God. But under law towards Christ. Let me just tell you, one law under Christ. One law, just one law under Christ. One law under Christ. We were told in the Old Testament that when you kill your brother, you have killed them. They are dead. You have killed them. But Christ tells us when you're angry at your brother, you have murdered them. How many are you murdering? Even this morning, you may be murdering. You, you may even have murdered me already. When I've done something and you're angry, being low under Christ is a very expensive, high level of Christianity. When we stretch our faith and our actions towards it, we cannot attain it. That is why he came with grace. So that we cling on grace. That we can say we are under the law in Christ. The grace is sustaining us. But Paul says. But even to those who say we don't have the law. We are not under the law. Blah blah. I don't. 
condemn them. I come down to their level because I want to win them over to Christ. Paula Gamaneria Babetwalanga Tabalina Tabali wansi wama teka. Sivanenya nayenzi kakana wansi kudala liabwen sevolo ba wangula ba deri Christo. To the weak Eriaba na Paul does not condemn the weak. Paul otane nyamu nafu. He says I acted as a weak person. Na yaga manti nkola ngoo munafu. I remember there was a certain pastor here. Nzujukira walu wano umusumba. Who used to tell us. E atuga ambanga. How can you sleep the whole month in your bed without coming for overnight? Nchua uinzo tiyo kumalo mwezi mulama ngo sula mbuliri. You are not born again. Tori muloko re. If you don't come for overnight. Mwabato jia mwishire chio kusaba. But some are weak. They cannot even when they come for the overnight. They cannot. But Paul in his humility. He goes and fetch on them. And then he says finally. I have I have become all things to all men that I may I might by all means save more or save some. Ntinfu save your na eriavantubo na nsobolo kulo kolabam. You can be a a a a an urban pastor. Osobolo kuwe romu sumba wamu chibuga. But you can also be a village pastor. Na ero sobolo kuwe romu sumba wamu chalo. You can be a person who moves with a car. But you can also move on foot if need be if you have someone you are to save. Paul says I have become all things. It is not easy to become all things. It is not easy. But when you're dressed with this garment of humility, because you know you're fetching on some souls for Christ, you will humble yourself to help those who do not understand. Those who seem to be stupid in your eyes. Those who seem to be poor in your eyes. Those who seem not to be your level. You know, know, there, there are some people who say level. I don't know who measures the level. Level begins from which level to uh, which level. But you know people say that one is not my level. I, I always want, where is, what is the level? Who, who gauged the levels? Simanyi. You know? Edala muli pima muti ali hata ndikila waku gama tuwe si dala liange oba akapima kekali wa Bishop was always talking about a testimony Buli jomu la vidizi ya uge langa kubujulizi One time 2010 we were from America Kumi bili kumi tuwa ituwa mu America And a week after we had a conference in Akadot In Namayingo and we were to stay there for four days, four, three nights, four days. That trip, I came back when I was sick. Because we reached there. And they had prepared for us a, a hut to, to sleep in. And in that heart, it was also a house for, for goats. And they did not remove the goats. That place had, had a toilet. The toilet has a, a part of a sack as the door. And you know that the the sack was not reaching the ground. The ground was like like torn torn. Eh? You people have villages, and you know those things. And you know Bishop laughed. And he says, "Katonda to waza." And he said, God can make you humble. Because some people in America were so respectful.
full of us and they said you want, you cannot sleep in my house I'm renting a, a hotel for you for them there are houses in America we were not fitting to sleep there but to people in Namayingo we would sleep anywhere abantu bomu America abantu samunye chiti wanga na mayumba gabala batetugwanira kusula mu ne batufunya hotels mwe tusula na abantu be Namayingo gabala batusana but you know doing all things to win people's hearts to Christ. Humbling yourself. Praise the Lord. Part three of this scripture, of this chapter. Paul says, and I like it. I'm running my race. I'm doing everything, doing what I'm supposed to do because I am running my race. I'm not running in vain. I'm competing for the crown that is imperishable. Letting down my honor, letting down my seeing Christ, letting down my apostleship, but contending for the crown that is imperishable. I discipline my body. I discipline my carnality that tells me you are this, you are this, you are this. I discipline it because if I don't, I may allure many into the kingdom and I remain disqualified. When Proverbs says one of the rewards of humility is life. It is not life as in this life living, but also life eternal. May we pray that the Lord dresses us with this dress of humility, that we may be all, that we may do all to reach all people, so that we may inherit eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, he says, He says that if you're humble, I will honor you. I will make you prosper. I will also give you life. I pray that the Holy Spirit will expound more on that. May God bless you. Let us stand up on our feet and welcome our pastor. Let's add Jesus in my turn, club. Let's, let's stretch our hands to our mama. Father, we thank you for our mother and the message you sent to us through her. As a church, we speak a blessing to and your grace and may continue surrounding her and her entire family to perfect all that is in your heart for her. Thank you so much, O God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm. And if we sing only one song and then pray through those words, it will work for us. Sanga, 